Hi there, my name is Bradley Hartman. I'm from SEO Vendor and today we'll be talking about DTR, Dynamic Topic Relations. DTR integrates your topics and maintains your narrative flow. This is SEO Vendor's own patent pending technology, something that's never seen before. But in this video, I'm going to break down the four different alignments and jump into each specific one to show you what it does and how it can help you. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Opening up SEO Vendor, you're going to go to SEO GBT2 and I'm going to select article slash blog. For my title, I'm going to say how to train specific dog breeds. I'm going to use title magic to help me out. Mastering breed specific training. Expert tips for canine professionals. And then for keywords, I'm going to use three simple keywords just to use this as an example and show you how strong this keyword alignment is. I'm going to focus on the Border Collie breed. So I'll say Border Collie training and tips and tricks. I'll then select language and branding. My language will be US English. And over here, you're going to enter your brand name and your brand website. For this example, I'm writing an article for my client's website, which is called Dog & Co. You then enter the website URL and over here you have brand alignment and site alignment. We'll jump into these two in just a second. We then click on writing options. I'm going to write a 500 word article. It's going to be an on-page blog article. I would like to write it in an engaging tone. And I'm going to write it in first person. I will leave a link down below on a video I did on custom persona and how you can actually create your own custom persona. I created this dog trainer persona, so I will use this persona. You then go to advanced options. For the subtopics, I'll leave it on auto. And for the instructions, I'm going to say focus on border collie breed. I then select write it. This might take a few seconds. And there you have it, three subtopics. Understanding Border Collie traits, training tips for Border Collies, and tricks tailored to Collies. So definitely followed my instructions and definitely followed my keywords. I'm happy with these subtopics. You're more than welcome to change them if you'd like. I am now just going to say confirm all. And while this is writing, it doesn't stop you from creating more content. Okay, great. Now that your article is done, you can click on ready. And there you have it, an overall SEO score of 80%. And here is the four alignments that we're about to jump into. So you have keyword alignment, you have site alignment, brand alignment, and instructional alignment. Starting with keyword alignment. This is the best way to optimize keywords. Why do I say that? Well, this isn't like other tools out there that just focus on using the keyword with different variations and semantics. Keyword alignment actually looks at the keywords. So let's, let's look at the keywords that I used. For example, I, I did border collie, I did tips and tricks, and I did training. So simple keywords, but look how it incorporated it into my subtitles, my title, and my actual content. And then look how it's structured the content. So instead of using different variations, it actually focuses on the statistics and the facts, and it also focuses on how it structures the content. So looking at the title, uh, Mastering Breed Specific Training, Expert Tips for Canine Professionals. And then looking at the intro, as a seasoned dog trainer, that's my persona I chose, I know each breed brings unique traits to the table. Take Border Collies. There's another keyword. They're bred with certain rules hardwired. So instead of just pasting border collies and doing keyword stuffing, this is actually looking at it from so many different angles and so many different dimensions and actually focusing on the alignment of your article. So how does it read? It's like they manage livestock. 
No nipping unless it's for self-defense. Just a calm approach, inviting movement. Over my decade in animal behavior, I've gathered plenty of tips and tricks. There's another keyword specifically for breeds like these smart collies. Stick around. So you see over there again, instead of just saying uh, for breeds like border collies, it's focusing on that sentence structure and how it reads. Stick around as we dive into mastering breed specific training that taps right into their natural instincts. So with keyword alignment, did it focus on your keywords? And did it consider your keywords when creating these subtopics and when creating the content? So it's not just search engine optimization. It's not just keyword stuffing. It's so much more than that. So that is keyword alignment. 80% is a great score. If this is off, let's say it's at, I don't know, 30%. That just means your keywords weren't structured right. It wasn't used. Um, it wasn't considered when writing your content. It wasn't considered when coming up with the subtopics and the title. Um, so an 80% is a really great score and that is keyword alignment. Going on to the next is site alignment. Now site alignment is looking at your website. Now with site alignment, imagine giving your author the website um, after giving all the information uh, you tell your author that this is the website, please align the article to the website. How much did he consider that website inside of your article? So after giving your author all the information, you then tell him this is the website that you are writing for. How much does it align? How much does this content align with the website? Because if the site alignment is really off, then is this topic right for the content? These are questions that you can ask, but seeing as it did incorporate the site and this is my site alignment, it just shows you how close it has written and taken the site into consideration writing this content. Then moving on to brand alignment. If you want to improve your brand image, you want to maximize brand content. This is what brand alignment does. It looks at your brand and it incorporates content that aligns with your brand. The reason the brand alignment is on 20% is I really focused on border collies. And then moving on to instructional alignment. So how did it follow the instructions that I have given it? My instructions were to focus on the border collie breed. And as you can see, it definitely focused on my instructions. It incorporated it, but not only did it focus and incorporate my instructions, it's also aligned it to the content so that it reads well. As you can see, this alignment doesn't just look at keyword optimization. It's so much bigger than that. It actually makes keywords look like a little baby compared to the keyword alignment. This is the best method to optimize keywords by far. Imagine using all four of these alignments together. This takes keyword optimization and also your content alignment to a whole nother level. And now it's your turn to try it out and let us know what you think. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe as SEO Vendor will be releasing a lot more new features and videos. And if you have any questions, please do leave the comments down below.